Hey guys, good morning. So today we're going to do the June Art Snacks Overview. Um, if you want to see my unboxing, you can check out this video here. This month I received a Kuretake number 7, a General's Layout Pencil, a Fibralo Karandash Fibralo Brush Water-Based Marker, a Spectra AD Marker, these are alcohol-based, and a Denik Mini Notebook, as well as a Lifesaver, which I ate, my card, and my sticker. So, first we're going to go over the prices. The Spectra AD Marker has a $5.15 retail value, according to the Art Snacks card. Um, the internet tells me, though, that they can be had for $2.89 on Carpe Diem Markers or $2.99 through the Art Supply Warehouse. And this alcohol marker has a tri-tip, so its chisel, chisel nib is a little bit different from other ones, which I will demonstrate in a little while. And it has a brush tip. And I splurged and I bought a few more of these online through Carpe Diem Markers, so I can do a review of them later. Next up is the Denik Custom Mini Notebook. And Artsmax says this is a $5 retail value. Now, these are interesting in that a portion of the sales proceeds goes to schools in need, um, which is nice. And the design on this is a special design for Art Snacks specifically. Um, since there wasn't anything really like this on its own, I did estimate the price to be between $3 and $5, which falls in the $5 range quoted by Art Snacks. Next up is the Fibralo brush. This is a water-based brush marker, single tip. Um, it's marketed towards hobbyists and students, although um, Owen's art or Owings art in, like this and rated it highly, and he's an artist, so there are art applications for this pen. Um, I've wanted to get my hands on these for a while, so if this one tests well, I may buy some more. So um, the Art Snacks card says it is two dollars and twenty-five cents retail, and I found it. Hmm. That's weird. I know I have a price for this. There we go. I found it. I couldn't find it open stock. I can only find it in sets. And a 15-piece color assortment is $33.75 on the Karen Dosh site, which makes it $2.25 a marker, which is in line with what Art Snacks quoted as the MSRP. Um, you can also find a 15-color set on Amazon with Prime, so that's with Prime shipping, for $35.71. Or a 15-piece set on Dick Blick, for $27.07, which is $1.80 per marker. Again, though, you can't buy these open stock. <clears throat> Next up is the Kuratake Number no. 7 brush pen. I've never reviewed these before. Um, and this has a felt tip and has refillable art cartridges. And let's see. The Art Snacks card. Um, says it's seven dollars retail. I found it for six ninety five on Amazon and seven dollars on Jet Pins. <clears throat> Last but not least is the General's Layout pencil, which Art Snack says is seventy five cents retail. For a package of twelve, um, you can get them for five thirty nine on Dick Blick, which makes it forty five cents per marker. Open stock on Cheap Joe's Art Stock, they're a dollar fifty nine each. So if you enjoy these, you should consider buying them in bulk rather than individually. So the first item I'm going to demonstrate is this Kuratake number no. 7. And I went ahead and left it in its package, which does have some explanation as to how this pin should be assembled. I'm going to have to grab a quick photo of that for the blog. Which, if you aren't reading, by the way, you really should, as the full reviews are up there. So, with my number seven, I received two ink cartridges, as well as the brush pen. 
As you can see, this hasn't been activated yet. It has a very fine, what looks like a Fude style nib and the cap posts on the back. So we're gonna have to go ahead and get this thing installed. And the Art Snacks card recommends you keep the spare cartridge in the barrel. So now that this is assembled, I'm going to store it nib side down to give the ink an opportunity to flow to the tip. So I'll get back to that one in a little bit. Next, we're going to take a look at the Spectra AD marker. I'll pull in a little bit closer for you guys. And the Spectra AD marker seems to share the same body as, in fact, they do share the same body as the Blick Studio marker. And I'll grab a Copic marker for comparison, since these are these would be markers people are most familiar with. Oh, I overfilled this, so it's leaky. Very leaky. So the Spectra AD marker has a tri-tip rather than a chisel nib. That's a chisel. This is going to be hard to see. Let me pull out the coping instead. Which means at the very tip, the tri at the like the end of the chisel, the tri-tip. Let me see if I can get a good photo of that. No. That's going to be hard. Yeah, and it dripped. Awesome. Um, the tri-tip is just a little bit narrower at one end than another. Let me cap these and get this mess cleaned up, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. So, let's get in real close. These are capable of three brush strokes wide stroke well three brush strokes with this tip wide stroke narrower stroke and then oh yeah there is actually three strokes in that usually when these things promise that sort of thing they can't deliver on it <clears throat> so it's nice to see that there are indeed multiple strokes and then there's also Oh, you know what? Let me comparison review that. So this is the chisel nib on a Copic. One, two, eh. not as fine as the tri nib on the Spectra. And um, just given the body shape and the price point, I'm fairly sure that the Spectras are not refillable, but I will have to look into this. And I'm pretty sure they don't use the same solution as the Chart Pack Ad Pro markers. These are alcohol based. Whereas I have a feeling, well, I know that the chart pack markers are not actually alcohol based. They have a different solvent in them. Now let's take a look at the brush tip. If I can get the camera to focus. It is almost the same brush as I want to say the Blick Studio brush marker. They feel very similar, which is a little less flexible and a little shorter than the Copic marker, but still pretty dang good. And given the very accessible price point these Spectra markers are at, although they do have a smaller color family than the Blick Studio markers, I say so far they're definitely worth picking up. They're certainly worth uh, giving a shot and maybe adding to your collection, especially if you're looking to expand what you currently own. So next, we're going to take a look at the Fibrolo. And it has a tiny little brush tip to it and the cap posts, unlike the alcohol markers we were just looking at. And it has a hexagonal body, which makes it a little bit easier to work with. So this is not watercolor paper. This is just like 
a scrap sketchbook, right? Made from recycled paper. So this might not be the ideal paper for this. Although there is some flex to the nib, there's not a whole lot. And let's see if it is activated with, this is a Marvy. this one's not very good. Let me grab my Tombow water-based marker blenders. Looks like the ink does react with the Tombow. Next, let's try just plain water. Ugh. This thing is dried out. Actually, I think this one still has water in it. All right, so the Fibrillo is water activated and compatible with bl uh, water-based blenders like the Tombow ABT. So I look forward to playing with this thing a little bit more and getting a chance to maybe try some more colors, which would mean in investing in a larger set, of course. So that's left with two, that leaves us with two products, the General's Pencil and the Denix Sketchbook. And I don't know where the Denix Sketchbook meandered off to so we will start ah oh, there it is we'll start with the layout pencil now you guys have heard me mention numerous times that i i really don't use wooden graphite pencils a whole lot anymore so i'm not necessarily the best person to rely on for this oh that's neat that has someone's actual <laughs> that's not mine someone's actual notes so this is a very dark graphite pencil very soft Okay, first we're going to test smearing. So it does indeed smear with just your finger, which is one of the reasons I've kind of moved away from those sorts of pencils. Um, and I'm looking for an eraser, so I will go grab one. This is a Pentel Click Erase Eraser. These are a little bit prone to smearing. As you may be able to see, the layout pencil does leave some faint ghosting on the paper after it's erased. Although for such a dark pencil, smearing is minimal. It's also not as soft as I expected it to be. Um, I use nine Bs and eight Bs for my graphite transfers. So that's the, the darkness, the like level of softness I'm used to. Um, this would probably be a maybe a five or a six B if I had to guess. So it's actually not as soft as I would normally use. So last but not least is this little Denik po pocket notebook. And it is very cute, although it's a little small for what I would normally use. And the paper is very smooth. There's no tooth to it. So rather than for me, this would be good for like pen sketches probably. Let's see if I have, hmm. never seem to have these things when I want them. Yeah, all right, fine, we'll use a Sharpie one. So with these little notebooks, what you really want is a quick dry time. And it looles like since the paper isn't coated, unlike moleskin, the dry time is pretty quick. Let's try. Just like I'm trying to get it to smear as much as I can to emulate sketching and there is some smearing um, if you look really close it shows up as like gray ghosting it's hard for me to get it on camera so what I would recommend this cute little notebook for is notes um, maybe some sketching but I wouldn't necessarily personally I wouldn't rely on this as a this or their larger notebooks as like a personal workhorse notebook 
All right, guys, so that is an overview of my, oh yeah, I wanted to do one more thing. I wanted to test this paper out with the included art snacks. So that's the layout pencil. Let's try erasing on this paper. This is the Ad Pro. It's a thirsty paper, so it's not really uh, suitable for markers. And that's the Fibralo. And it doesn't transfer over or smear right away. So I'll have to put this through further testing. So that was my June art snacks. My total estimated value from my own research was $18.64. The box ships for $20. So I think this month is a pretty good value and I am really excited about the two markers that were included with my box. I didn't go over the Kuratake number seven since I was waiting for the ink to hit the um, other side. This is what it looks like. It's a very small Fude-esque nib. There is some flex to it, not a whole lot, <clears throat> Even brand new, if you're writing on a textured paper too quickly, it'll start to skip. Uh, this is just a water brush, since this is water-soluble ink. And this is Strathmore watercolor paper that I'm demonstrating this on. Um, and this is the Fibralo. And I know I tested that on sketchbook paper, but this is watercolor paper. I figured it would be a more accurate test. All right, so I will see you guys in my Art Snacks Challenge video. Bye.